Good day, everybody. Uh, you probably have quite a lot of questions after seeing the title of this video. Uh, it's not going to be a very long video, so I'm sure I'll be able to answer many of those questions pretty soon. ERP Next, an overview of ERP Next. Uh, what is that? Why? And how does that fit in uh, with a YouTube channel for Trinity Drones? Well, in the first place, um, I actually want to use um, ERP Next. And uh, during the phase where I got to know the software, I found that although there's lots of informational, instructional training material, um, it sometimes didn't cover quite all the spots. So it's basically just if my attempt to add to that material is simply to uh, plug the holes. Uh, all right, so without further ado, what is ERP Next? ERP Next is Enterprise Resource Planner Software, ERP. Um, it basically allows you to plan your resources if you want to, but um, the only really way, the, on, the only real way to uh, explain, describe what it does is to actually look at the functionality. Now, what is a functionality? It's got accounting functionality, stock management, buying, and, and I'll, I'll get to a little bit more detail in each of these when we actually switch over to the interface for ERP Next. Um, it allows you to manage your selling functions within your business, a manufacturing, quality control, CRM, customer relations manager, HR, human resources, there's user management and workflow. Workflow, what is that? It basically comes down to if you've got a, um, if your business is now growing a little bit and there's two or three people and the one has got to approve things. The, uh, the one per person generates the purchase order and the other person approves it. That's workflow. And that's all tied into user management. And of course, customer support. If you sell a product and there's, there's a problem with the uh, with the customer using the product, etc. There's a support uh, function, and of course, asset management as well. Um, so, yeah, those are all the functionalities within ERP Next. I'll cover a little bit more detail when we switch over to the um, interface for ERP Next, but I think before we actually get into that, uh, let's just first cover which industries it can be used. Uh, mainly, I think, uh, from what I sense, I may be wrong, but reading blogs and websites, it seems to be used in a manufacturing environment may, mainly, uh, but it can also be used in a non-profit organization, agriculture, hospitality. Hospitality is, of course, your bed and breakfast and your... Um, Stay over places, healthcare, education. If you've got a, a a little training business where you train people online or even at a school, uh, and of course manufacturing, that's where I want to use it. Retail, your point of sale. If you've got a shop selling stuff, it also has a point of sale function. Services. Um, if you if you sell a, um, a service, plumbing, how do you um, use that with ERP Next? And of course, distribution. Simply just buying uh, products and selling it because it's got an e commerce uh, functionality as well where you can, um, people can buy the products off ERP Next. It's actually got a website as well. So your normal um, online sales you can actually set up ERP Next for that as well. Uh, just a little bit of a few, I don't want to get into too much technical, but um, some technicality, I suppose, is is called for. It's ERP Next is basically open source software. It falls in the same realm as Linux, where there's people out there that writes the code and contributes via GitHub, um, to the source code of this after testing, of course. So if there's um, 
some uh, driver that needs to be written for some functionality, then same as Linux, there's somebody that writes it and tests it and validates it, and then of course it gets added. It's basically based on the FRAP Bench framework. Now what a framework does is, amongst others of course, is that all the documents I'll show you later on doesn't actually exist in the system. There's no document per se that looks like a piece of paper. Um, it's all uh, field definitions. And whenever there's a document that appears on the screen, whenever you do a purchase invoice, that document is gets built up real time based on the field definitions um, of each field that needs to be on that purchase order or purchase invoice. Uh, which of course ties highly in with point number, what's that, four, customizable. Uh, so in actual fact, you can go and change the fields, add fields, take them away to customize your doc document. So the FRAP Bench framework allows for a highly customizable setup. So you've got your basic setup, and of course you can go and customize this. It runs on Linux. Um, I've got my systems deployed on Ubuntu 18.04. Um, there's a certain suggested Linux flavors, but you can Google those. Uh, I'm not going to get into that level of technical technicalities. And of course, there's a couple of deployment options. Um, how can you actually get the software to run? Um, so let's get into that quickly. Uh, you've got your um, your company, if you want to call it that, here. Now, I've drawn in three clients here, but I mean, obviously, uh, if you start off, you'll only be an owner. All right, there's, there'll only be one person. Now, there's three at the moment. Uh, they use uh, clients or their machines can co uh, contact the ERP Next software. All right, now I've drawn three options here. The one is you can deploy ERP Next on a, a machine in your office. All right, or you can deploy, you can actually contact these companies out there that actually offer the service. They deploy it and you buy it, you pay per month and you. Um, use their service uh, for the purpose. Uh, pros and cons to all of these, of course. I'll get to a few of those just now. And of course, you can deploy it yourself on a virtual private server out there. This is the option I'm using. Um, now, briefly, you know, obviously, once off costs, you buy a machine and there's no monthly costs. Um, this option is a monthly cost. Um, this is also a monthly cost. The difference between these two is here you, you've got rather limited setup to the back ends of the system. Um, you rely to a certain extent f to other people to um, uh, do customizable, certain customizable things. And some of the customizable things you can still do, but some of the stuff you may or may not be able to do. Whereas if you deploy it yourself, then you've got full access, front end and back end, the front door and the back door, if you want to call it that. <laughs> but for these two, obviously, there's a monthly cost, um, not the monthly cost for ERP Next, but to use the server, all right? If you're going to deploy it on some virtual private server host, um, depending on the size of the server, you're going to have to pay a monthly fee. All right. Um, now, how does this work? You've got your ERP Next implementation. And now, for instance, let's say you've or you, whether it's a single user, um, a one man business, or there's two or three or four people already, you def definitely have various areas um, in your office or whether you run from home. Um, there's an area where you manage your store, depending, of course, on what you do. I'm doing this from a manufacturing point of view. Keep that in mind. So there's a store area. Uh, I'll talk about this. There's a machine, a thin client, basically a Raspberry Pi, which is basically just a browser. 
And then you've got your manufacturing area and your packing area, for instance. You can, of course, have lots more, but I've just drawn three. So at these areas, there's a browser, a machine that's got a browser, and that accesses ERP Next. So you basically log in to ERP Next um, via network, and whether that machine is standing on your in your own office on that network or whether it's out there on the cloud, you still log in. So you've got multiple login sessions. Each user logs into ERP Next and of course based on your um, user that, where is it, um, user management, you can now define each role and what they've got access to. All right. So that, in, um, in essence, is how you would set up your system. Of course, depending on what you do, you're going to do that um, in a different way. Right, let's get to um, what it actually looks like. There's the um, page just after you log in. Of course, you've got login credentials. And there's ways to secure the server if you're going to do this out there on the, on the cloud somewhere. I'm not going to go into detail about that. Um, that certainly is the whole purpose of the videos that I've been making. Making there's a video on HTTPS, etc. Um, so here's all the modules. Once again, I'm not going to go into the details. You've got your accounting module, uh, where you've got your um, reports, your journal entries, your general ledger. There's your financial statements, anything related to accounting. He has your buying, your suppliers, your items, your material requests, your purchase orders, purchase invoices, um, your selling, there's your customer management quotation, sales orders, um, stock management, there's your warehouse management, stock entry, purchase receipt, purchase um, material requests. Uh, customer relations mod module with all its functionality, um, support, customer support, all right, uh, asset management, what is an asset location, asset category, um, human resources, your employees, your salary structures, um, salary components, payroll entries, uh, leave management, tax management. Um, guys, I'm really I'm just going to go through this very quickly. The purpose is just to show what it can do. All your quality management uh, functionality and of course then of course the manufacturing uh, which of course is where I'm going to use it. Your bill of materials, your items, your workstations, your operations, your routing, your work orders, production planning, your job cards, um, I've already made a few videos about how to do your production uh, with ERP Next. And of course, there's your users and permissions. There's the website designing. As I said, you can design a website within the system to allow your people to go actually buy your products in the e-commerce section. Right, I've just um, touched very briefly on... Um, all the modules in ERP Next, the whole purpose is for somebody that actually is considering to use this in their little startup business. Uh, you can find the content that I've already uploaded in the Trinity Drones YouTube channel. Um, I've put on some labels ERP Next 1, 2, 3, 4. I've numbered the videos and of course a short little heading on each of the uh, videos to see what it's all about and uh, really if you want to use it because what I find is these companies that sell these servers often have to have limitations you've got to be five or more people so if there's people out there that's only one or two people and looking for some of the functionality certainly not even all of it even if you just use the accounting um, you're welcome to go and have a look at the videos uh, and see if you can somehow implement that in your business. Right, so this is an invitation to uh, go and have a look on my Trinity Drones YouTube channel if you want to find some 
information about how to do certain functionalities on ERP Next.